Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be checking out this really cool looking new survival game called Aloft, which apparently takes place in the sky. Way up in the sky across these uh, these islands here. I don't know, let's actually just jump in. Choose a totally random character, that's fine. Toggle clothes. Okay, she already, she didn't have clothes on already. These are going to be her clothes, I suppose. Uh, that's fine, I like that. Now, can we just move on with Robin? Sure, why not? Robin, you are the chosen one. So, let's create a new map and a new world. Confirm. And, alright, I'll see you in there. Oh, I should say, I received a key for this demo, although you can check it out for yourself. There are details down below. So, yes, feel free to check it out. Alright, I really don't know much about this game. I received a key for it and then one of my favourite YouTubers, Splattercat, uh, covered it and I watched his video for about 10 minutes. So, you know, I know a tiny little bit about it, but uh, not that much. So let's experience this adventure for the first time together, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Aloft. Okay. Alright, find and gather wood. Tips can be disabled in the options. If we... can we punch trees? Apparently not, so it's not one of those kinds of games. It's a really beautiful looking game, I'll be honest. It's kind of stylized graphics, isn't it? What have we got here? Our most valuable resource, creativity, was truly limitless. Workbench, B. Find and gather wood, B. Okay, so I can craft this with five wood. Uh, Alright. I can change the zoom, can I? That's interesting. Don't see that very often, do you, in, a, in an inventory like that? Inventory screen? Where am I getting wood from? Is it from trees? I need an axe, do I? I'm assuming then maybe I can just find wood. So as you can see... What does it say up there? Pre-alpha 0.1. It is really quite early in development. And the demo, of course, is free for you to check out. Here we go. Okay, so we're looking for little tiny trees. Slash, slash shrubs. Yeah, graphics are uh, feeling a little bit kind of jittery jerky. Here we go. All right, so we've got a few uh, a few woods inbound. Now we'll be able to craft a... Can I pick up these rocks? I can. Great. So we should be able to craft the, uh, the workbench now. Put that down there, sure. So you can rotate, can you, with Q&E? All right. Now... We have a leaf, we have wood, and we have stone. What's this here? Mix a yellow dotted... Mix yellow dotted ingredients to discover new recipes. Stone hammer. Very cool. Alright. So I can... This is like a recipe book, experimental kind of thing. And these are our actual recipes. Now, let's go here. Um, and craft this. Okay, so if we go to our inventory now, can I drag this down here? I can. Alright, so now we can chop trees, I'm assuming. We can find a tree to chop. Okay, maybe not with this. That's not the appropriate tool. But we've learned new things. We can make, okay, grassy roofs. Make ourselves some kind of hobbit hole in the ground. Um, so I can't make anything else. Oh. Can't combine that with anything. What's that going to teach me? Ooh, a long leaf cloth. A sharp stone. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's make a sharp stone. And a long leaf cloth. 
and see what we can make now. I feel like this is going to teach me maybe a pickaxe or a stone axe. That's what we want. So we can craft in this menu too, can we? Or we need... Yeah, it looks like we actually need... No, we can craft here. Very good. Let's make one of these then. Go here. Move this down here. Now we can chop wood, I think. Yes. Okay, yep. So it looks like there's a little bit of a mini... I mean, what do you call it? A mini game. Do I have to gather these or... Okay, so you, you hit them to pick them up. Okay, that feels like I should be pressing E to pick them up there, but whatever. So yeah, clicking at the end seems to uh, to do the job. Yeah, so that feels like it's not really acting properly. I'm pressing E to pick them up. It's not working. So anyway, hitting them picks them up. All right. It's kind of an adventure just in the crafting menu so far, isn't it? What is this... Uh, what can I do with you? Okay, I need more. Well, give me more then. I can just hold that down, can I? Is that two or three? Learn? Leaf bandage. Alright, cool. Then I suppose I should make some of these too. Uh, combine that with this. And what about this? And this? Alright, well give me a stone. Okay, I'm going to move on in a second, I promise. I don't know, some people like me, I guess, uh, you know, you could just sit in this menu here for a long time, figuring things out. Stone pickaxe, very good. Then let's make one of those two, and we should be able to move, move on at this point. Down here. So this can now get us stone. Okay, let's do that a couple more times. Right, I'm going to lower the graphics a little bit just to see if it improves the frame rate much. Alright, still, uh, still feels a little bit jerky actually, but whatever, it's early access, let's move on. Alright, explore the island to and find a second knowledge stone. Then I shall do that. Did I craft a bandage already? So I can actually... Okay, I can place these down here, can I? Or No, but I can use it from my inventory. So how did I uh, equip some of these? Here we go. Now it's... Didn't feel like it was showing up. Okay, it actually drops, drops away this menu down here. So can I not store that in my inventory, in my uh, tool belt? Apparently not. Okay, we've got a bit of a storm incoming, do we? Got some shiny things off in the distance. Now, have we learned this one already? We have. Well, alright, I'll tell you what, let's go back up this way. And uh, maybe there's another direction for us to go that I did not. Holy smokes, it's, it's real foggy, isn't it? Wow, is that is that fog or is it sunlight? It's kind of hard to tell. I think I think it is fog. This game does have volumetric fog, which is interesting, as far as games go, isn't it? Oh, oh dear. Does this mean I have to start again? Okay, I will see you up there. It's funny too because, you know, in Splattercat's video that I told you that I saw, he did a cut at exactly the same point. Uh, so I'm assuming he, he fell in exactly the same way that I just did. Ooh, what's down here? Can I? I can. Interesting. So we've got some sort of undiscovered cave system. I'm going to assume that the uh, the axe is good. I don't know if there is combat, actually. Is there combat in the game? I would assume there probably is. 
But uh, I don't know about that. I don't remember seeing any kind of enemies anywhere. Alright, there's our knowledge stone. Can we jump across without... Oh, you son of a sausage. Okay, this time we actually just fell a few feet down. So we got kind of a little bit of platforming involved then, it looks like. Kind of deceptive platforming too. Oh my god, I'm terrible at video games. Okay, I've just noticed we have some kind of stamina bar down there at the bottom left, running around all over the place. This depleted our stamina. This time, I will win. Mother Earth provided that from which we thrived. We can now make a sawmill. Interesting. I feel like I'm playing a movie right now. So it's, uh, it's kind of fun. Right, yeah, I'm assuming we're going to need maybe a bit more. Oh, we can gather little sticks off these trees, can we? All right, then maybe I think I would like to uh, to go back to my workbench. It's very dark. Oh, the workbench was just here. Very good. Okay, so build a saw bench by pressing B. A sawmill, I mean. Okay, we've got a leaf stockpile, a wood stockpile, a stone stockpile, a long leaf cloth, and also a leaf basket. We can also make a long leaf bed. I wonder what that does. Let's do it. Let's do it together. We don't actually have the equipment for that. So then we need to make some long leaf. Um, I'm on the wrong menu, aren't I? Okay, so I can only make basic gear here. I was wondering what's the difference there. Let's make up quite a bit of that, I suppose. And uh, then I want to build this bed. It's been a while since I've played a survival game like this. Actually, it was just the other day, wasn't it? A small land, but we didn't get very far into that one. Sleep, yes. Oh, and also set home. Okay, so we are well rested, and it is a beautiful day in the neighbourhood. Okay, we want a sawmill now. I need two sharp stone for that. Which I need to use my own menu for. Um, there's like recipes here, isn't there, somewhere? I, I'm kind of running around all over the place like a crazy person throughout these menus. This. Let's make a, a few of these to... I like that it gets quicker as you do it. This one. Sawmill. It's tiny, but effective. That's what... Uh, no comment. Anyway, what do I do here? F. Go. Oh. Ah, we're doing it manually. Okay, so we can double up on this. If it lands in the right spot, I suppose. Interesting. Oh, it went bigger. It went bigger for a little bit. Oh, it was actually doing it. I wasn't even noticing the whole time. Okay. I was just focused up here. Craft a glider using the workbench. Let's do that. Um, how exactly? Like this. Alright, so it gives you little hints with the dots here. But it doesn't tell you exactly what to put together. That is quite cool, isn't it? So it's exploratory. Did I just make two of them? Can I... Okay, is that just automatically hours now, is it? Or do I have to equip it somehow? We now have planks. Equip. Okay, it's equipped. So you have to press E on it. Oh, nice. Alright, so. Ladies and gentlemen. It's time. To leave home. You know, sometimes. You reach a point in your life. 
where you're sick of your parents, they're sick of you, everyone's sick of each other. And you know, you just gotta walk out into the great unknown with a, uh, a handmade glider and just jump off of the nearest high platform and you know, go and see what's out there in the world, right? Alright, so, I don't think we have any kind of stamina. Wait, we do, we have stamina on this, as you can see at the bottom left there, that yellow bar that's going down. That's our stamina. I'm assuming if we uh, run out of stamina, we're in big, big trouble. So we're flying towards the storm, are we? I, mean, I guess that's where we have to go, is it? Do we have to get tougher and braver to, to face the storm, the oncoming storm? Anyway, this place looks kind of barren, but there's also a cave. So let's go and have a look in the cave. Are these different resources? No, it's also stone. Can't get those ones. What's this? Coal. Okay, we can now make a campfire. Interesting. I hope there are enemies, or I hope, and or I hope that they have enemies planned. For this game, the Sea of Clouds brought us ashore, home once again. so we can make a ship all right it's reminding me of another game uh, that came out a while ago called adrift and it's called aloft that's kind of interesting isn't it now is it a drift that I'm talking about no it's called worlds adrift and unfortunately that game was abandoned and it was a very similar kind of setup here where you know you are exploring various islands traveling through a sky land a sky world where you know you've got all these floating islands around and you could build a ship and travel amongst the islands so unfortunately though i bought that game and it was in development for a long time and i played it a little bit thinking that i'll get to it at some point there are things flying over there are they dangerous? Let's go find out. But yeah, the game, the development of that game was abandoned, unfortunately. Whoa, what just happened? The islands all fell. That's weird. Now what's the deal with this one? It looks strange. Whoa, okay, yep, yeah, there are definitely enemies. Alright, it's on. It's on, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, they are strong. They're like mushroom people, aren't they? Fungus monkeys. Destroy the nodes to cleanse the island. What nodes? This node? Okay, interesting. Okay, cool. I like it. Can I get this, can I? I can. Ah, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, pretty sweet. We were brought into the world to tame it, and tame it, we did. What does that mean? Okay, we have access to a rudder now. Uh, maybe I should gather a little bit more wood. As always, ladies and gentlemen, I have a backlog of games bigger than, well, I don't know, something very big. All I could think of was something rude to say, so I didn't say it. But, if you want to see more of this game, if you want to see me play a little bit more, exploring this world, exploring these islands, let me know. And we can keep an eye on this game as it develops jumping back in and exploring more of this uh, very unusual but interesting looking game. Obviously, we haven't even begun to build a ship yet. So, 
and also it's early in development so we don't know exactly what uh, you know what level of gameplay is going to be included here I would love to see a little bit more um, than just a simple kind of island hopping survival building type deal maybe a little bit more of an RPG development happen maybe meeting other kind of civilizations and people you know traversing the islands and things like that more places to discover because I've played a lot of survival games in the past and they often just get a bit stale quite quickly you know they get very uh, samey running around just doing the whole building they, they, they can be quite enticing at first but I personally find that uh, yeah they can just get a little bit boring you know this one though looks kind of interesting and intriguing this whole mystery of the storm here and the corruption I find could be quite engaging bugger all right let me try that again I love that you can just run and just fly from anywhere you don't need to be actually at the edge of anything you can just run and fly off the land oh my goodness watch you can actually fly across the mountain the landscape as long as you get the right height okay this is the last time I'm gonna try this on camera and then I'll just do it myself <laughs> bugger wait we're exhausted <gasps> Oh dear, what does that mean? Are we flying really slowly? Okay, so exhaustion doesn't mean death, immediately death. It means you just fly slowly. Okay, let me get access to this knowledge stone. Now that I think about it, it might have been pretty useful to try to do this when exhaust... The islands are all falling, aren't they? Well, that makes things a bit tricky. Just like memories, some things are better once shared. And we can now build a cooking plate. Alright, interesting. Yeah, it kind of brings a lot of curiosity. Um, I don't know if the island was falling or did we hit some kind of updraft there? Okay, we've got a home symbol over there. So that's going to be where our workbench is. Alright, I'll tell you what, let's finish the episode by jumping back in to a little bit of combat although I was kind of curious about these flying bird creatures what's your deal okay seagulls just hanging out in the middle of the void why not yeah so we do have like an updraft here that we can catch oh and my character's in exhausted in general so okay he just decided to end end all of his issues in all in one swell fell swoop So these these things are quite tough, but they're not they're not excessively dangerous, are they? Well, I can collect water here. Destroy the node. Okay, there's more. Oh, there's more here this time. Yeah, we're gonna die, aren't we? I should go back home, apparently. Okay, of course, so we respawn at our bench, our bed. And uh, that's gonna be the home symbol then, I suppose. It wasn't the workbench, but it was just the bed. So I guess as we move around and relocate our bed, our home symbol, our respawn point, comes with us all right ladies and gentlemen this has been a little bit of a look into a loft still very early in development links are down below if you want to check out the game for yourself this is just a demo but it's a free demo available to everyone i was given a key to the demo and encouraged by the developer to check it out and so uh ladies and gentlemen do what you will i shall see you in the next video thank you for watching goodbye for now